summer's here and that means just one thing, sports day is coming. So let's create a poster in Adobe Express to advertise your sports day. So I've created a template that you can use, but I'll show you how easy it is to find your own. I'm searching for sports day here. I'm gonna filter it by posters on the left-hand side. There's all sorts that you can choose from here. So you could just scroll through and take a look, but the one I'm wanting to use is this one here. So I'm gonna press create from this template. So let's do some basics first. I'm gonna ungroup these two kind of titles at the top, select this one, the Preston County one, and then change it to the school that I went to when I was a boy. Basketball playoff, no thank you. It's gonna be sports day 2022. Now it's gone to two lines there, so I'm gonna stretch this out and then I'm gonna center it and I'm looking for the pink dotted line. Now that's a bit big because it's kind of quite close to the side, so bring it down again, center it again. Now we've got this Biting Bobcats versus Polar Titans. Well, there were four houses in my school, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna get rid of one, and this Biting Bobcats, you can see it's on two lines, I'm gonna change it to the houses that I was in when I was a boy. Now, um, what I wanna do here is kind of make the make the viewer or the person who's looking at this poster understand that all these four teams are competing against each other so what i'm going to do is on the right hand side i'm going to make this text curve into a circle there we go and then what i'm going to do is make it a bit bigger and i'm going to place it around this versus sign to make them understand that actually all houses are competing against each other now in order to separate the houses out a bit more i'm going to put a full stop between each one of them. I like that, don't forget to put one at the end as well. Now this is starting to bleed down into this icon down the bottom, so I'm just gonna get rid of that because it's quite big. I don't really want it to be that big. Let me go over to shapes on the left-hand side here, and then I can search for things like running, and you have to decide what's in your sports day. Let me just put them all in first. And now that they're all in there, I need to change the colors of them. So. Let me select it and it has my current palette there. So I'm going to choose one of my uh, colors that are already there to make it consistent. And then the next thing I'll have to do is make sure that they're all the right size. So there's an easy way to kind of do this all in one. You have one selected, press shift, select the next one, select the one after that, and you can bring the sizes down. Maybe I'll move this one to the center there move this one over to the right hand side and you can see those dotted lines there telling me that it's all aligned, I quite like that. Uh, but also maybe they need a little bit of a shift using my little arrow keys here. And then you can go and change things like the day. I'll keep that as it is for now. I'll change this to Hope Field, check that it's censored. And then if I want to make them slightly bigger, I can select one, shift, select the other, drag them out and they stay nice and consistent with each other move them so that they're centered. And then last but not least, you can see that we've got this kind of, um, we've got this kind of effect on the background here. I really like that. You can replace it if you like and look for design assets and scroll through all of these different types of things. But I really like how that looks. One thing I do want to change is the background color. And every time I select it, I'm selecting that kind of effect on the top. Let me just undo that move. And so I can't really get to that background, but you can if you open up your layers on the right-hand side here. Let me click the orange, click in there, and then I wanna find a kind of greeny color. I wanna make it a little bit more, I think, vibrant. And I think that one works really well with yellow, so I'm happy with that. When you're ready, you can download it just by clicking download there if you want to print them out and put them around your school. Uh, I'm going to do solid color background because I want that green to appear. It appears down here on your computer. Ideally, you should give it the right name, so Sports Day, and then it will give it, in, give it that name in the file name, and then you can press Share, and then Publish, and you can send it to Google Classrooms, Microsoft Teams, or just create a link to share with whoever you like. That's how you create a poster in Adobe Express for your Sports Day. It's time for you to do your own.